Hi, this is Pratiksha Jain and I welcome you to learn something new on this channel with me. So in this video, as the title says, we're going to look after the Python code for additive cipher. Before going directly onto the code, I would like to explain what is additive cipher with uh, an example also. Let us look after a quick and a short classification for additive cipher. Additive cipher has been classified from monoalphabetic cipher and that is to classified from substitution cipher. Substitution cipher is further classified from stream cipher and symmetric key. So let us just look after what do you mean by substitution cipher. Substitution means to basically replace something with another thing. And what do you mean by monoalphabetic cipher? It means to replace a single character with another character. So that is why it comes under substitution cipher. Now encryption for additive cipher goes like P plus K where it stands for plain text and key and mod 26. And for decryption, the formula is C minus K that is cipher minus key mod 26. Now why we have taken 26? Because 26 stands for 26 alphabets. Okay. So if you all don't want to see the example which I'm going to explain next, you can directly move towards the code. So let us go for example after this where I have additive cipher example where I have considered plain text as hello and key as 19. Similarly, we'll get cipher for hello and uh, with the same key that is 19. As it is symmetric key, so that means on both the side that is sender and receiver key will be same. Let me just check then so that you'll understand it better. Okay, so we have a table from A to Z, where in computer language A starts from 0. So in short, from A to Z, we have 26 letters. That is 0 from 25. So now uh, let us encrypt hello. H. So in the table, just go and see where is H. Here is H. Just locate H. Where you will see that it stands with number 7. So H is reflecting number 7. So just take H as 7. And our additive cipher uh, says that encryption can be done with the formula like P plus K plus k so i have my plain text number as 7 and my key is 19 so okay so let us just add a uh, 19 with 7 that is a key and after adding we will be doing is mod we'll be doing this mod 26 i know it is looking quite shabby but it is completely okay i hope you are understanding it okay so you're in i'm using scientific calculator you can go for standard graphic as per your need so i recommend using scientific cal scientific calculator for such calculation so we need to do a 7 plus 19 let's go for 7 plus 19 so the addition is 26 now let's go for the mod it is modded with 26 so if we get the answer as 0 so what we will do now now instead of 7 it stands for 7 right so instead of 7 we got result as 0 right now after calculation so for 0 that is a a stands for 0 so cipher key first letter will be a now and not H. Instead of H, we will write A. So the same thing you need to do for E, L, L, and O. And you'll get a complete uh, cipher text like A, X, E, E, H. Okay, so let us try to decrypt the first letter of the cipher that is A. A goes with 0. So the, uh, so the formula for decryption is C minus K. And then do mod 26. Okay, then do mod 26. So here we have 0. And then let us do mod 26. So minus key is 19. So 0 minus 19 is minus 19 only. Let's go with the calculator. So 0 minus 19 is minus 19. So let us do mod 26 now. Okay. So, you, so we got the answer as 7. So we directly got the answer as 7. But uh, maybe uh, the calculator which you are using, you might not get the answer directly. So what you can do is, whenever, so whenever you get result in minus, so just add... 26 to it. So you got 7. So when you will do mod 26, you will get the result as 7. So what stands for 7? That is H. So you got the first value. Like this, you can do for other remaining values also. Other remaining text also, cipher text. The code goes like this. For first, you need to make a choice. I think I should explain it with example itself. So let us just run the code and see first. You'll get few options like encrypt, decrypt, and exit. So let us just make a choice. If I make a choice as one, that says encrypt. So, so the code is like that if the choice is one that is encrypt, that, then additive cipher 
then additive class encrypt function will be called. And if I make a choice as two, that is decrypt, then decrypt function will be called of, of additive class. And if I make a cho choice as number three, then it will say that, thank you, goodbye, just call by watching and subscribing this channel. So let us just enter a key choice. So I have just uh, made a choice of number one, that is to encrypt. So let us go towards the encrypt function. But before that, look, uh, let us look after the additive class init function. Here in init function, firstly, the key is being taken as one of the parameter, one of the argument, and uh, it is being checked whether the key is one. Uh, that means whether I'm uh, making the choice as that I want to enter character as a key. And if this is so, then I will be allowed to enter only one single character. So let us just first make a choice as character. And if I enter, suppose B, A, C, B, so this should return a message saying that only single character is allowed. Okay, so it got finished. We'll just make a choice again, one, and let's go for second, that is number. If I go with the key as character, then that character will be uh, converted into a sky value. And then further operations will take place. So if I go for uh, option as number two, that is enter number as key. So let us go for it. Enter number as key and suppose I'm giving 19. Let us take the example of hello only. And now it is asking for text, which I need to put for encryption. So enter the text for encryption. And then um, we will run a for loop to go through each and every letter of the text. Suppose if I enter hello, so it will go for, so it will go through each and every letter. It will go to H, then E, then L, L, and O. So whenever it, uh, so first when it will go via edge, so what will happen is it will run this part only and only if the ORD, that is my ASCII value of edge, small edge is less than 96. So is my ASCII value of small edge less than 96? Uh, no, it is not, right? Because a uh, small letter ASCII value start from, starts from 96 itself, 96 and 97. So my H is greater than 96. So it will go for this part, wherein we will do minus 97 and then add 97 because uh, we are dealing with small letters over here. And if it is dealing with capital letters, then it will just simply add 65 because the table which I showed in the PPT, that is just a simple number from 0 to 25. But in real life, ASCII values are quite different. So we need to add 65 for capital letters and we to and we need to add 97 at the end uh, for small letters. And before that, we need to subtract 97 because if we don't do, we will get some different value after uh, performing mod function. So this is small. So every time this else function, this L part will get executed. We will also look after the capital letters also. So let us just encrypt this first. So what we are doing here is, this part has been understood. And as I said, that we'll be adding the plain text with the key. So this will get added. And whatever result is, uh, whatever result has been returned, that result will be turned into ORD. That is the ASCII value. And then that again, after performing this complete function, will return in character because I want at the end, the end result in character itself. So let us just encrypt this. So the result is AXEEH for hello as it was shown in PPT also. Now let's just go for decrypt function. So enter a key choice again. So let us go for uh, number two. As it is symmetric key, we need to again take the key as 19. And for decryption, we will enter this text, A-X-E-E-H. Now, again, the same process will be followed here for decryption, but just in a different way, where for decryption, we do cipher minus the uh, cipher minus key and mod 26. So over here also, there is a for loop which will run through every letter of the cipher text. So let us uh, assume that it is running through A right now. So uh, we have just simply performed this C minus K at the start. And uh, we have, and after performing this, we are getting the ASCII value and checking whether that letter is uppercase or not. And if it is an uppercase, then we need to go through this part. But it is not right now in uppercase. So let us just look after the else part first. So in else part, simply we are just subtracting. That is, we are doing C minus K over here. And then we are minus, uh, and then we are subtracting it with 97 because it uh, they are small letters and then adding 26. 
as uh, adding 26 uh, because you might get result in negative. So as I told before that it is better to add 26 whenever you are uh, getting negative result. So modulo 26 and then again we'll be adding 97. And uh, let us just try to decrypt this. So okay, we got the text as hello. Now let us look after capital letters also. So let us uh, select option F and just read on this. Let us just select option as one. Character uh, number key number. Let's say fifteen. Encryption text. Encryption gene. Okay, so this is the cipher text that I got, and now. Let us just decrypt this. 15 is the key number choice. 15. Let us just decrypt this. But before decrypting, let me just explain the upper part. So here the letter is in uppercase, that is R and N. So over here, P has been replaced by R and J has been replaced by L. So they are in uppercase. So if it is an uppercase, the R is in uppercase. So let us just check whether it's a sky value is less than zero. Is the sky value of R less than zero? Uh, I guess no, because a sky value of capital A is 65. So of course it is not less than zero. So, so this part will be not executed and it will go for else part where it will do uh, C minus K. It will perform C minus K mod 26 and plus 65. So let us just decrypt this. And for small letters, this part of the code will be executed. I got the result as Pratiksha Jain Bhakti. Okay, let's try out with characters. Encryption character we're going to go with. I'll take character as P. Encryption text as J. Okay, so I got it as R I Q V as just decrypted. I'll enter the key choice as character that is one. And key is P, small p. And my decryption text is R I Q B. It returned me J. That is my original text. Thank you.